guys, it's Aya. Um, so I'm going, today I'm going to show you how to make a knefe. So let's get started. Okay, so knefe is my favorite dessert. So um, for that, you're going to need some knefe dough. Um, you can get that at like your um, local Arabi store or um, I'm not sure if Walmart carries it. Um, and so we're also going to need some sugar. We'll probably use about um, a cup and a half or two cups of sugar. And then um, here's the knefe sabra, the um, coloring that you use to turn it orange. And um, some Crisco, I mean some shortening. And here's some ricotta cheese. And some fresh mozzarella cheese. Okay, so right now we're going to do the, um, the cheese. We're going to mix the, the ricotta cheese and the ricotta cheese and the uh, mozzarella cheese. So this is a 32 ounce for the size of the pan that I'm using, which is probably 16 inches. Um, so I'm going to use half of this um, container, about half. And then I'm going to take some mozzarella cheese. It's about um, half of a pound of mozzarella cheese. Okay, so after you put the uh, mozzarella cheese, you can add about about a cup or a cup and a half of sugar. Just mix it. You have to mush the thing, the cheese, because it's in pieces. Okay, so this is how the cheese looks after you mix it in with the cheese, uh, with the sugar and stuff. And so now we have to um, do the knefe dough. So you have to like set, you have to tear it off of each other and separate it like this. So now we're. This is the um, the food, the coloring for the knefe. Um, this is about like it's probably a spoon. So you do it around this. Here's the second spoon. And it just depends on how much you have. Because if you put too much, then um, there's like a taste that rubs off of it and it's like bitter. So that's why you don't want to put more than you should. And you just keep doing the same thing so the color will, will spread. Okay, so this is how um, it looks at the after you take it all apart of each other and put the coloring on it. So now you're going to, this is about like five teaspoons of Crisco that you are going to put in the pan. after You, you melt it for like about two minutes. So um, you would put it on the first layer of the pan. Not the pan has layers, but. So that the um, the knife won't stick to the bottom of it. Now you're going to put the cheese on. Okay, so now I'm going to put some more shortening on the cheese. Just like sprinkle it around. Okay, so after you smooth out the cheese and you make it leveled, you're going to put the la the top layer of the knefe on over the cheese. And you want to preheat the oven to 350. Okay, so um, 
for the knafe, we're already finished with that, so we need to just put it in the oven. It'll take like about um, like 15 minutes ish for like each side after you flip it over and stuff. And you'll also need um, maybe about you'll need some altar. So every two cups of sugar, you'll need one cup of um, water. So um, what's it called? So you'll probably need for this size right here. It's like 16 inches. You'll probably need maybe about four cups and um, you'll also need pistachios to decorate. Okay so now I just took it out of the oven for the bottom side and now I'm going to show you how to flip it. So they have to be the same size, this is why they have to be the same. Okay so you hold it from both sides and you say bismillah <laughs> and it takes me a while because I have to think about it first. Okay, ready? Set. Go. Okay. So now for the other side. So, um, so I went ahead and took it out of the oven. It's already cooked. And now we're going to put that syrup, the uttar, um, on top of it. You have to put it when it's hot, but the outlet has to be cold because if you, you, both of them are cold, then the sugar on the syrup will, um, like come together and it'll all be hard. Okay, so I'm almost done. Okay, so I'm done putting the syrup. Now we're going to put some pistachio. I, um, crushed it in the machine. So you, just, you don't have to put pistachio but it makes it look good. Some people, some pieces didn't really crush as you can see. Okay so I hope you like this recipe so if you have any suggestions like comment and subscribe.